starting with the eyes as per always and I'm just gonna start by priming my eyelids with some concealer <clears throat> I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender I really need to wash these things and honestly I don't really know how to go about that because every time my beauty blender has gotten so dirty to the point where I felt like I needed to wash it I just got a new one Alright, so now that we blended it out, we're going to set it with some powder. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth in 220. Alright, so now that we got our base set, we're going to start in going in with some eye shade. Alright, so we're going to go in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And we're going to be using this as our transition shade on our eyes today. Ooh, I forgot to zoom you guys in. Sorry. I'm really focusing on blending in my outer corner because I want this to be a super rounded look today. So I really want to make sure that that's a very round corner right there. Alright, now that we got that done, we're going to move on to the actual color on the lid, and I'm super excited because I've never really played with cranberry raspberry shades before, so I'm really excited to play with this. I just need to find a brush. Give me one second. Alright, since this is going to be an all-over um, eye look, we're going to start by packing the shade onto our eyelid. So, we are going to be, for this look, we are using the, this is the Balm, yeah, this is by the Balm Cosmetics, this is the Nude Tude palette. There's also the Nude Dude palette, but these are a lot cooler tones. This is what this one looks like. Super pretty palette, but this has that perfect burgundy shade that we want right there, and it's called Sexy, which is fitting. So we're going to be taking that on a flat definer brush, and we're going to be packing that all over our lid. Prepare to see some fallout. I, I'm going to guarantee we're going to get some fallout with this. Okay, we didn't get as much as I thought we were going to get. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to look very weird at first, but just trust the process. <laughs> this looks crazy right now, but I promise you this is all going to turn out beautifully in the end. What if I just left it like this? Honestly, looking great. Okay, so because this is so dark and sultry, I want to add just like a pinch of like brighter pink in there. Kind of, but not really. So we're going to be going into the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm going to be taking this burgundy shade right here, but I'm also going to be mixing it with a little bit of the red. I might even go in with some hot pink, but to start, we're just going to use the burgundy and the red. And then if I'm going to go in with the hot pink, we'll do that in a second. All right, we're going to be using this to blend this out all right it is a little bit pinker than i wanted it to be so i think we're gonna stick with not going with pink and we're actually gonna add a little bit more red just by itself I think that red is actually what's making it look pink so we're going to go in with a little bit of the burgundy on its own oh yes there we go okay so we're going to leave it like that for right now let me keep telling you that it is not even close to being finished so do not look at this and think i'm crazy and click out of the video i promise it's going to look beautiful in the end so we're doing the same thing on the other eye
So I just want this look to be a tiny bit more warm. It's really, really cool tone, really, really pink and purple right now. So I'm going to be taking a orange shade and I'm just going to be using that all throughout the curling. So I'm just going to be laying it on top, blending it in, and we're going to see how it looks. So I'm taking the bright orange from the Morphe palette. Just a little bit, wiping some of it off on the towel in front of me. I'm just going to be slathering that all up in the crease area to just see if we can just warm this up just a tiny bit. Yeah, so you can definitely see a difference how this one's just a little bit more warm than this one is, which I really am enjoying. Yes, so much better. So this one, this eye is looking a lot more blended and diffused near the top, and this one looks a little bit harsh still. So I'm going to be taking just a plain brush, absolutely nothing on it, and just using that to blend the edges of this look. Just so it looks more diffused and blends better into the skin. Alright, so I'm taking the Maybelline Master Coal Eyeliner, and I'm going to be what lining my water lines with this I might go back in with the gel liner that I own and see how that works compared to this and I'm definitely gonna have to touch this up in a few minutes when I go in with my lower um, eyeshadow Alright, so we're actually going to throw on some lashes and then we'll be done with the top part of our eyes and we'll move on to our face. So these are the Ardell Wispies. These are the lashes I use in every video. They're my absolute favorite if I could just get them open. Alright, and then like I said, I've never done lashes on camera before so this should be very interesting. Now that I focused the camera and got closer to the mirror, we're going to go for this. So I'm just going to that as close to my natural lash line as I possibly can. So there's the first lash. Also please do not use tweezers for this. There's plenty of plenty of tools out there that people have made for this exact purpose. Um, yeah, just do it. it's really just not safe. Just just don't do it. Don't don't follow my footsteps, please. All right, so we're gonna start out with that foundation. And today we're gonna be using the Maybelline Fix Me Dewy and Smooth in the shade 110. I used this in my last video, the Bombshell Smoky Eye, and I will admit, I absolutely loved the way it laid on my skin. And it was, I felt, me personally felt as if it was the perfect shade match for me. I don't know if you guys agree with that, but if you do, let me know. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be using a little bit of that, and we're also going to mix in, of course, the L'Oreal Glow Lotion. You guys know I'm obsessed with this stuff. I stand by this stuff. It's beautiful. Since we have such a matte eye look today, I want to have very, very, very glowy skin. I don't think you'll ever hear me say I want very matte skin, because I am so dry that matte, I just, I don't know. Never, I've honestly never been a fan of matte skin. I've always liked, enjoyed looking very dewy and very glowy. Alright, so working off the back of my hand, I'm just going to start blending this into my face. Again, I hate the sound of beauty blenders. It pisses me off the most. It's just, it's just so disgusting. It's just so nasty. My chin is breaking out. What the flip? Speaking of skincare, you guys, so... Back in December, so, well, okay, let's jump back. So, my whole life, I have had very, very, very flawless skin, and I was very blessed to have very flawless skin all of my life. Up until mm, November, December-ish, I mean, I had gotten, you know, a few breakouts here and there. You know, I, I got my fair share of a few breakouts every now and often, but for the most part, my skin was always very flawless, very even, never had any real, like, Ooh, gross pimples up until November December of 2018 so in December of 2018 I messaged my old cheer coach her name is Jen Jenny B Beauty um, she actually makes YouTube videos I will link her down below and um, 
I reached out to her because she's a licensed esthetician, makeup artist, you know, the whole nine, and asked her like to please help. Please, please, please help my skin. It was just, it was a horrible situation. It was ugly. I'll insert a picture right here. It was not good. It was just not me. It was, that's never how my skin has ever looked. I'm going to try something. Hold on. Anyhow, I'm going to keep talking. So I talked to her and she called me and we talked for maybe like 20, 30 minutes on the phone. And we basically ran through all my skincare products, all the ingredients in them, blah, 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 blah. And she really explained to me that I was really just like stripping my skin of everything it needed. <sighs> so she gave me a whole new skincare routine pretty much. She told me which products to use, in which order, you know, day and night. Super simple. We just went back to the basic cleanser, moisturizer, maybe an oil in the morning. Super duper simple. Hold on, I got the, the foundation off my mole. <laughs> Anywho. Um, and I am still in shock about the difference my skin has made in just a matter of two months, eight weeks. I wasn't realizing how much of a difference it was making until I put two pictures side by side the other day and sent them to her. And she was like, oh my gosh. Anywho, the whole point to why I'm telling you guys this is because she is doing skin consultations over the phone. Um, when she'll call you, she'll talk to you, she'll talk to you about your skin, any issues you're having, and she'll basically just, she'll help you. She'll help your skin out, and she is incredible, you guys. I swear you should really go reach out to her if you're having issues with your skin. Because, like, you saw the before and after picture. It's, my skin has... I am just still so in shock of how fast my skin's made a difference. Like, it's still not where I want it to be, of course. We gotta let it have time. But how fast it's made such a huge difference. It's just insane. So if you guys have any skincare issues or you're struggling with your skin, please, 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 please go talk to Jen. I thought that took me 15 minutes to say. I don't even know how that got started. My skin was looking like crap, and now it's looking a lot better. <laughs> Moral of the story. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> Alright, so we use the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is also the Maybelline Fit Me concealer that we're using under our eyes right now. Right. I'm trying to steer clear of the eyeshadow on the outer corner because I want it to be really smoky. Do, 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 do. Alright, so in my last video that I made, the bombshell um, smoky eye video, um, my camera cut out when I was setting my face with powder, but I tried a new way to set my face with powder, and that is to use your damp beauty sponge to set your face, which I know a lot of people here on the internet do, but I had tried it a few times before, and I just could never really get behind it. It made my skin feel really weird, but um, I tried it in that video, and I think I really was enjoying how it worked. So we're going to try this again. Alright, so we're just taking some of this on the back of my beauty sponge, and we're just going to get all up underneath our eye. My nose too. Alrighty, so we're going to move on and we're going to do the under eye right now. So we still have that um, mascara under here, but we're actually going to touch it up a little bit. And to do that without ruining our concealer, I'm going to take the powder brush and kind of gently pull. Alright, and now we're going to jump back into the Nude Tude palette, the original palette we used. And we're going to take that same shade, the shade Sexy, that really deep dark burgundy, on a very flat definer brush. And we're going to use this to line our under eyes. Getting up underneath those lashes. Oh, 
Alrighty. So that's what that looks like and we're just going to leave it like this for now and then we're going to go back in and blend it out with um, a different shade. Okay, so now that we got that deep dark burgundy laid down, we're going to go back into the Morphe 35B palette. That bright rainbow palette we used before, and we're going to take the same shades, the red and the burgundy, on a pencil brush. I'm going to use that to smoke this out. So now we're going to go in and like we did on our eyes, we took a little bit of the orange shade. We're going to do the same thing and this is the brush we use to blend out our eyes with nothing else on it, but we're going to be using this one. Tapping in a tiny bit of orange and going under and using this on the lower lash line as well. All right, so that is the finished eye look, and I'm so obsessed with the eyes. This looks incredible. Um, I said we were going to do the face next, but we're actually going to move on to the eyebrows and do those really quickly, because I feel like once the eyebrows are done, this whole thing is just going to come together, and it's going to be incredible. All right, we're calling it good on the eyebrows. Um, I hate my eyebrows, honestly. So this eye, this whole eye is a different shape than this one. This one's a lot more hooded. If you can see like my bone, um, like when I open my eye, you can see the shape of my crease is so much different on this eye, which causes my eyebrow to be lower. Um, so I try my hardest to raise this eyebrow up like while I'm styling it, shaping it, but it just always, doesn't work. Alright, so we're finally going to move on to the rest of our face. We're going to start with bronzer as always. We're going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is a perfect shade for this look. This is the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Baby Doll. Okay, you are curious. Alright, 
so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I had so much fun making this and I'm so obsessed with the way this turned out. This look is just so girly and fun and sexy and I'm loving it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!